Do you know why Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato went from being the best of friends to enemies? If you don't, make sure you stick around to the end of our video to learn something new today. How's it going? It's your girl with Top 5. And in this episode, we're going to look at the top three celebrities who went from being best friends to enemies. You're not going to believe who's frenemies on our list today, so make sure you don't miss a single one. Number 3. Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods Before the infamous Jordan Woods scandal that would eventually close her friendship with Kylie Jenner, these two stars never left each other's side as they celebrated several birthdays together and even had several twinning moments. On Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Jenner stated that Woods has lived in her home at one point, according to US Weekly. Apparently, Jenner and Woods were so close, the reality star collaborated with her former BFF on a 2018 Kylie Cosmetics line comprised of eyeshadow, highlighter, lip gloss, and lipstick. Woods, who was close to all the Kardashians and Jenner family members, even attended Kim Kardashian's 2014 wedding to Kanye West in Italy and modeled for Khloe Kardashian's clothing line, Good American. So what broke off this friendship in the first place? Well, according to E! Online, Woods was caught red-handed making out with Khloe Kardashian's then-boyfriend Tristan Thompson at his own house party. Looks like there was some family drama in the family that is well known for its drama. Number 2. Taylor Swift and Katy Perry The feud between Taylor Swift and Katy Perry is bound to go down in pop history, and while it lasted for a few years, it actually appears that these ladies have made amends. But was it enough to be friends again? That much is between them. According to the BBC, their feud wasn't necessarily because they both dated John Mayer, but rather because Perry had allegedly stolen Swift's backup dancers during Swift's Red Tour. For her Rolling Stones cover story, Swift admitted that her then-new song, Bad Blood, was about a certain female artist. For years, I was never sure if we were friends or not. She would come up to me at awards shows and say something and walk away, and I would think, are we friends or did she just give me the harshest insult of my life? Swift commented, adding, she basically tried to sabotage an entire arena tour. Perry did not take that lying down and fired back after Swift's Rolling Stone interview with a rather cryptic tweet, saying, watch out for Regina George in sheep's clothing. When asked by Billboard if the tweet was about Swift, Perry simply replied, if somebody is trying to defame my character, you're going to hear about it. These celebrities might be enemies, but we can still be friends. Why not drop us a like to show your love and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out the next time we upload, because you're not going to want to miss this content. Number 1. Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato's friendship goes way back. Both the stars were on the children's show Barney and Friends back in the 90s when they lived in Texas. The show's director at the time, Fred Holmes, told IB Times they were pretty inseparable and ate lunch together and all those types of things. Holmes could not be more right about the two stars becoming best friends, and they famously got their own shows on the Disney Channel, with Gomez landing the lead role in Wizards of Waverly Place before Lovato scored Sonny with a chance. Gomez and Lovato would make YouTube videos together as teens, and even teamed up to star in Disney's Princess Protection program. Gomez once stated to People Magazine, we enjoy doing everything together. However, when a fan asked Lovato in 2010 how her BFF was doing, Lovato simply replied with, Ask Taylor, referring to Taylor Swift, who apparently had a star-studded girl squad that included Gomez. While these two stars would continue to support one another in their own adventures and separate music careers via Twitter, deep down, the two old friends were not quite as close as they once were. As Lovato told Andy Cohen in 2014, people change and grow apart. Even after unfollowing one another on social media, Gomez still congratulated Lovato on their performance at the 2020 Grammy Awards on Instagram. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar in 2020, Lovato answered everyone's questions about where they stand in their relationship. When you grow up with somebody, you're always going to have love for them. But I'm not friends with her. I will always have love for her, and I wish everybody nothing but the best. The fact that these friendships are over is so sad. Almost as sad as the fact that we've reached the end of our list today. Thanks.